This is a review for the School Candy Gym Plus Wireless Earbuds, so let's get started. If you haven't yet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great content. So let's unbox these earbuds and then I'll show you what's inside. So what you get inside the box? You get a user's guide, a plastic bag of goodies with uh, different size ear tips, large and small. And on the ear tips right now, they're the middle size and a micro USB and a plastic clip. And you get the earbuds themselves. So let's talk about the specs on these earbuds. It has no plug type because it's a wireless earbuds. It has an integrated microphone. It has call connect and disconnect control, integrated volume control, and integrated functional control. It has 2.4 GHz transmission frequency with Bluetooth 5.0 built in with a range around 33 feet. And finally, it has call track and volume control. And I did test the waterproof ability on these earbuds and they did surprisingly well. With the waterproof ability, they went above and beyond my expectations. Like I wasn't expecting these to be even waterproof. Like I know they gotta have this micro USB splash cover. So like if it does drop in water, like a few seconds, it's not gonna hurt it. But like you can take a shower with these on. And if you drop them in the water for a few seconds, it's definitely not gonna hurt it. And these earbuds have six hours of battery life. Okay, let's get back on with the review. So let's take a look at the earbuds themselves. So let's start on the right earbud. It has the R, so you can let you know it's right on the hook that helps you keep it in your ear. It is detachable also, if you wanna take it off. And also this ear tip is detachable, so you can put a smaller or larger size on. So let's head down the rubber cable, and then we come to the counterweight of for the remote. It just has a Skull Candy logo on it and some recycling information and other company stuff. So if we go down here where the cord goes around your neck, we get all the way down to the actual remote. It has a splash resistant cover on the micro USB slot with up and down volume controls and a pause button to say if you're like on Spotify or something, you can use this to pause and play. I'm going to leave the user's guide in the description down below, but the user's guide, you can like double tap this and it'll go forward and then you could like triple tap tap back for like track back or something like that so if we head down here it's just a reverse of on the other side and also there's a school candy logo right there i don't know if you can see it there you go and the plastic in the remote feels kind of cheap but after a few days i kind of got used to it it would yeah it's just normal now the counterweight is a little bit heavier in my opinion than the actual remote so like if you had it in one ear the earbud would tend to drag the counterweight down and the counterweight drag the whole thing down and it just made it really uncomfortable. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that a whole lot. It, it's just kind of uncomfortable unless you got like the clip supporting it. That, I think that's what this clip is for. I wouldn't really recommend doing it with one ear. It, 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 it's just kind of uncomfortable and inconvenient. So let's connect these wireless earbuds to Bluetooth. So when you're connecting to iOS, you want to flip this up and you want to make sure that the Bluetooth symbol symbol is blue. Then you want to scroll back down. And then you want to go to settings and Bluetooth. And then you want to go to wireless earbuds. Hold down on it. And there will be a voice prompt saying power on. And it will be flashing like this saying it hasn't been paired yet. And then... You just want to look for Jib Plus and connect the earbuds to Bluetooth. And then the voice prompt will say connected. So let's get on with the report of our everyday testing. So during the time of our everyday testing, I went out and did a lot of numerous things with these earbuds. Right off the bat, as soon as I got these headphones out of the box, I was like, hmm, these, are, these seem good quality. And don't get me wrong, they are. But like I said, first the plastic felt kind of cheap at first, but I got used to it. And then I started listening to music with these earbuds for a few hours. I listened to some Spotify with these earbuds for a few hours, and I realized they kind of lacked on bass a little bit. But if you turn them up, Gradually, it will start getting the bass, but if you're just like listening to it really low, you're not going to be able to get the bass that you're looking for. Well, they're $15 earbuds, so what do you really expect with the bass? 
But other than that, I didn't have any problems with these earbuds. If you're looking for some wireless earbuds and you're looking for the bass, but you listen to music kind of low, then these earbuds, they're just not really for you. But if you're just looking for some wireless earbuds to get the job done, like take some phone calls or listen to a little bit of music or watch YouTube videos, then go ahead, these are great. But overall, I give these earbuds like a seven out of 10. I probably would have given it a nine. It's just that the plastic feels kind of cheap sometimes and it lacks on base. I have a link below to the Amazon affiliate link to these earbuds in the description. And if you buy the earbuds from my affiliate link down below, it really helps support the channel and it gets me paid. And I'd really appreciate it, help support the channel. I'm also gonna have a written review in the description down below, so go check that out. It's on my website, Geeks and Games. And it goes into a little bit more detail on the specs of these earbuds. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more reviews like this one. So we'll see you in the next video.